So our next step is going to be adding variables and comments to our code. So comments, like I said earlier, are the lines that are in gray when you're in text mode and that have a hashtag at the beginning of the line. So this is not interpreted by the computer when you run the code. It's just for you and people who read your code. Um, so this says that it's a Python script. And you can give your script a name. So each script correspond to one song. So this can be your song name. And um, then your, the author is you. And description, you can write a couple sentences about your music, what you wanted to do with it, what was your message. So here we're going to call this a beat. Summer song discussing biodiversity. And then to add new comments, you have to toggle back to text mode and just add a line that starts with a pound sign and write your comments. So inside your code, you're going to use comments to distinguish the different sections. This way, when you see an old script that you haven't read for a while or when someone else reads your script, it's easier to understand what you're trying to do with the code. So here, we're going to call this section um, placing sounds in the digital audio workstation. OK, so this is how you add comments. Now let's move to variables. Let's go back to our blocks mode. So here, see, we were using fit media from this ear sketch section. And we also have other possibilities. So we're going to click on variables and we're going to use the first block. So place it right under your set tempo. So what we're doing with this variable is we're taking a long parameter, such as this sound name, and we're placing it on the right of the equal sign. And then on the left, we're going to give it a name. So this is a long sound name. To make it easier, we're just going to call it strings1. OK, so what this does is it creates a new variable that's called strings1. And when you write strings1 in your code, it's going to call this sound clip. So here, instead of the long sound clip, I'm just going to write down string1. And when I run the code, there is an error message. So this said a variable or function name that is not defined, named string1. And so this is a common mistake. You might have misspelled your own variable. So here, see, I wrote strings with an S, and then I forgot the S here. So I'm going to add the S. And then when I run my code, I've added my, my variable here. And you can see that in a digital audio workstation, I still have my sound clip uh, where my first fit media placed it. So on track number one, starting at measure one and ending at measure four. Here's track number one, starting at measure one, ending at measure four. And so what you're going to do is replace all of your sound name uh, with variables. So the next one, we're going to call it melody. Okay, let's try to run the code to see if it all works. So script ran successfully. And the last thing we're going to do is add a comment um, to say we're going to set up the sound clip variables. So I'm going back to text mode. So this is what the variables look like in test mode. And let me write down sound clip variables. Okay. And the next thing that we're going to do is add a fade in effect. So I'm preparing this by creating a comment. Fade in. So that's it for your variables and comments. I'm 